Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you distance vector routing algorithm. Before we start with this session, let me show you how many things that I am going to cover in this video. See, first I will be explaining you basics of distance vector routing algorithm. After that, I will explain you one practical example in which I will show you how we can calculate these routing tables with the use of distance vector routing algorithm. And then I will explain you one very interesting case study in which there can be issue of count to infinity in case of topology changes that I'll explain you by one practical example. And to resolve this issue of count to infinity, we can have split horizon. So how it how it can be done? That even I'll show you by one practical example. So let us see first how many basics are there with distance vector routing algorithm. Distance vector routing algorithm that is based on Bellman Ford algorithm. And in Bellman Ford algorithm, one key statement that you need to understand. See, subparts of shortest part are shortest subpart. See, based on this statement only, this entire algorithm is there. Subparts of shortest part are shortest subpart. Let me show you that first. See, for example, if you want to communicate from H1 to H2, then there can be multiple ways. You see, this is one route, this could be your second route, and this could be your third route. Let me show you. See, this could be your first route, right? This could be your first route, this could be your second route, this could be your second route, and this could be your third route. You see, this could be your third route, right? So, here there are three possible paths. Out of three, there can be one shortest path, but obvious, right? Out of three, Obviously, one will be shortest one. Let us say this path is shortest one. So, here with the shortest path, if you observe router 1 to router 5, that is sub path. Router 5 to router 4, that is second sub path. So, for shortest path, whatever sub paths are there, those are shortest sub path. And here with this algorithm, with this algorithm, we will be calculating shortest sub paths. We will be calculating shortest subparts how with the use of distance matrix here we will be doing matrix updation and that will be done with their neighbors and that we do it with respect to iterations so here there will be matrix with all the routers and that distance matrix that will get updated with respect to their neighbors and that will happen via iterations how many iterations will be there v minus 1 where V is number of nodes. For example, here if you observe, we are having four routers. So, with all routers, there will be distance matrix. And that distance matrix, that will get updated by their neighbors. And that will happen via iterations. And how many iterations will be there? Number of nodes minus one. So, here for four nodes, we need to have three iterations. That is how things are happening. I will show you that by practical example, but first you need to understand what is that which we are doing over here, right? See, with this algorithm, there can be issue of count to infinity and that will happen in case of network updation. See, that even I will explain you by one practical example. Like if you have network like this, in that if any link is getting failed, in that case, there can be count to infinity problem. And to resolve this problem, we need to have split horizon. That even I'll explain you by practical example. So count to infinity problem that arises over here with this algorithm, and that we can resolve by split horizon. This algorithm is applicable to limited size network. You should know for large network it is not applicable. This network is applicable. This algorithm is applicable to limited size network. See, it was implemented way back in 1988s in US and they have implemented this with the use of RIP routing information protocol and IGRP integer gateway routing protocol. So, let me show you first how distance vector algorithm is functioning by one practical example. After that, I will discuss about how count infinity problem is there and how to resolve it. So, let us see first one practical example. Distance vector algorithm that is based on distance vector matrix. So, first of all, you need to understand what is the meaning of this matrix. If you observe here, we are having four routers. So, we are having four tables. 
टेबल ए टेबल बी टेबल सी एंड टेबल डी दिस टेबल्स आर डिस्टेंस वैक्टर टेबल्स और यू कैन से डिस्टेंस वैक्टर मैट्रिक्स सी इन दिस मैट्रिक्स वी आर हैविंग फर्स्ट कॉलम दैट इज टू मीन्स ए टू ए ए टू बी ए टू सी ए टू डी ए टू ए ए टू बी ए टू सी एंड ए टू डी सी दिस इज हाउ फर्स्ट कॉलम इज देर सेकेंड कॉलम इज डिस्टेंस सो डिस्टेंस इज देर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू लिंक दिस लिंक इज हैविंग डिस्टेंस थ्री दिस इज हैविंग टू दिस इज हैविंग ट्वेंटी थ्री दिस इज हैविंग फाइव थर्ड कॉलम दैट इज नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट मीन्स फॉर ए टू ए वॉट शुड बी माई नेक्स्ट राउट फॉर ए टू बी वॉट शुड बी माई नेक्स्ट राउट दैट इज हाउ दिस मैट्रिक्स इज देर वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज दिस मैट्रिक्स यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स आई नीड टू अपडेट दिस मैट्रिक्स द रीजन इज दिस अलगोरिदम इज बेस्ड ऑन इटरेशन सो हाउ मेनी इटरेशन दैट वी नीड टू गिव सो दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन नंबर ऑफ नंबर ऑफ हो नंबर ऑफ नोड्स और नंबर ऑफ होप्स माइनस वन सो नंबर ऑफ राउटर्स माइनस वन सो हियर वी आर हैविंग फोर राउटर्स फोर माइनस वन मीन्स थ्री इटरेशन दैट वी नीड टू हैव ओवर हियर राइट सो लेट अस हैव फर्स्ट इटरेशन ओवर हियर सो इन फर्स्ट इटरेशन इन फर्स्ट इटरेशन सी दिस टेबल ए दैट इज गेटिंग क्रिएटेड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू देर नेबर्स ऑन डी रिमेंबर ए कैनॉट कम्युनिकेट डायरेक्टली विथ डी this d cannot communicate directly with a and directly with b why the reason is based on connection on the based on neighbors only communication happens right so for a to a a to a distance will be zero a to a distance will be zero next it will go to a on b for a to b for a to b you see for a to b magnitude is 3 so distance is 3 next will be b for a to c For A to C, distance is twenty-three. So distance is twenty-three. Next, it will reaches to C. For A to D, for A to D, connection is not there. So it will consider this as infinite over here. So it will not get routed anywhere. Next will be nothing. Now let us make table of B. So see B to A, B to A, distance is three. So three over here. Next, it will reaches to A, then B to B distance will be zero. Next, it will reaches to B only. Now you see B to C distance is two. Next, it will reaches to C, and B to D connection is not there. So B to D distance is infinite. Nothing will be next. For a table of C, C to A you see distance is twenty three. So twenty three. Next, it will reaches to A. C to B distance is two. Next, it will reaches to B. C to C distance will be zero. C to C distance will be zero. Next, it will reaches to C only. And C to D, C to D distance is there, right? Five. So when you have connection, when you have connection, then only, then only, there will be data over here. Otherwise, you cannot have data, right? You see, router D is connected with C only. so router d d to c that is 5 right that is 5 over here and next it will reaches to c d to d it will be 0 right so it will reaches to d only and you see d is not connected with a and b so distance will be infinite over here right see this is how table is getting created now comes very interesting part that is how to update so you see next iteration that is iteration number 2 in which we need to update this tables that is quite interesting you just need to understand this carefully if you observe here we are having table a so table a is getting updated by router b and router c only so router b and router c will forward a frame to a and that frame will be having this entries as it is updated over here first time so this entries that will be given to router a now router a will see these entries router a will see these entries and it will update this table from this table so these entries are these only right now you see a to a obviously it is zero it will not update this but if you observe a to b that is 3 over here now with b to b it is zero and with c to b it is 2 
so it will check for c to b for c to b how much it is there for c to b it is 2 so if 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 it wants to update it then you see with respect to c distance is 23 so 23 plus 2 that will be 25 like if b is communicating via c over here then 23 plus 25 that will happen but right now it is 3 so 3 is lower than 25 so it will not update it so it will keep 3 as it is and next route will be b only now if you observe a to c so a to c is 23 right now a to c is 23 right now but it will receive these entries in these entries it will observe b to c is 2 b to c is 2 so b to c is 2 so b to c that is 2 and b to a that we already have that we already have that is 3 so 2 plus 3 that is 5 2 plus 3 that is 5 and 5 that is lower than 23 so it will update it it will make it to 5 over here it will make it to 5 over here and see this 5 will happen this 5 will happen with the route of b only so here route will be b so to reaches to a now instead of 23 it will take 5 distance via route b based on entries received over here right now if you observe distance d that was infinity now it have received these entries so out of these entries here you see infinity was there so infinity cannot be considered but here we are having 5 now see c 2 d that is 5 c 2 d that is 5 now c 2 d that is 5 previously we were been having a 2 c that is 23 a 2 c that is 23 so 5 plus 23 it will make it to 28 and it will be saying like okay via c it should be getting routed over here right so from this entries only it will update a now you see how to update b see we are having this table over here and b is connected with a and c so b will be receiving frames from a and c so b will be receiving frames from a and c so this entries that it will receive right now it will observe b b to a that is 3 right now now via a to a that is 0 but via c to a that is 23 so 23 is greater than 3 so it will keep as, keep it as it is so it will keep it as it is it will not modify this b to b that is 0 so it will not change it now b to c that is 2 b to c that is 2 but you see a to c that is 23 which is greater than 2 so it will not modify it but you see here c to c that is 0 so it will keep this as it is it will keep it as it is as this is greater than 2 now you see here we are having entry infinite infinite right and it is receiving it from c and a so here there is this is infinite so it will not do anything with this but here we are having phi so via c to d we are having phi and c to b to c connection that is having 2 so 5 plus 2 that is 7 so it will make it to 7 and it will be saying like okay routing to d will happen via c so it will make it to c over here by next similarly it will update table c you see table c table c that is getting modified by a b and d the reason is table c is connected with a b and d so it will c will receive frames from a b and d so c will receive frames from a b and d so c to c that will be zero it will not change but you see c to a that is 23 right now and c is receiving frames from a b and c so it will observe which path is shortest one so a to a that is not getting considered but b to a that is 3 so that is lower than this so it will observe okay this is low this this is 3 and via b it is 2 so 2 plus 3 that is 5 which is smaller than this so it will change it to 5 over here via b so it will be saying next will be b over here so that is how updation is happening right if you observe here b c to b that is 2 so here c to b that is 2 so it will check over here 3 0 infinite so it will not change the reason is 2 is already smaller than this so it will be considering that as 2 only right via next b now if you observe c to d so c to d connection is single only right so there is no point of changing it it will stay phi as it is right now table 4d so table 4d 
that will change with respect to C only. The reason is D can receive frames from C only. So, C will give frame to D. So, D will get modified based on C. So, here previously it was infinity. Previously it was infinity. Right. Previously it was infinity. So, you see distance is 23 with respect to C. So, 5 plus 23, it will make it to 28 over here. Right. And it will be saying, okay, A route will happen via C. And here it was infinity. So, it will be saying, okay, this is 2 distance with B. So, 5 plus 2, that is 7. That route will happen via C. And C to C, C, here D to C, that is having single link only. So, there is no point of changing it. Right. And D to D distance, that will be 0 only. Right. That will be 0 only. See, this is how second iteration will happen. Now, in third iteration, now in third iteration, you see what will happen. A, B, C, D, that will modify, that will modify their tables based on, again, reception of frames. So, A is connected with B and C. So, A will receive frames from B and C. So, A to A, that will be 0, that will be as it is. A to B, that is 3 right now. And here it is 2. Right. So, it will check. Okay. With B connection, it is 2 right now via C. So, if it is happening via C, if it is happening via C, right, then it will be taking how much? 23 plus 2. 23 plus 2. So, it will be taking 25. So, instead of that, I, this, is, this is lower, right? So, it will be considering 3 only. Now, you see, C, A to C connection is 5. A to C connection, that is 5. And here C, C to C connection is there, right? So, there is no point of changing it and C to C that is 0 over here. So, it will not change it. So, it will keep 5 as it is over here, right? With next B. But if you observe, see A to D that is 28. Now, it is receiving frames over from here. So, for A to D, right now it is 28. But it is observing, okay, with B it is 7 and with C it is 5. So, it will check. Like, see, with B, it is, with B, it is 7 and with C, it is 5, right? So, it will be, it will not consider this 28. It will not con consider this 28. Instead of that, it will be saying, okay, I just wanted to have it from B. So, that is 5 plus 2 plus 3, right? So, that is 10 over here. It will modify it. And for that, it will have to route frame via B, right? It will have to fr route frame via B. See, this is how it is updating this over here. Now, what I want is you just check out this updation. I am just noting it over here as I have calculated it. So, if you observe, almost all the data are same, only this is getting changed, right? As this data is getting changed over here. Otherwise, everything is same in third iteration. And if you observe from iteration 1 to 2, how many entries are getting changed over here? See, this entry that is getting changed, this entry that is getting changed over here, this entry that is getting changed over here, this entry is getting changed over here, these two entries are getting changed. So, this is how updation is happening, right? Now, why I have marked this? The reason is you need to understand why I have changed this entries. The reason is in explanation, it may be possible like you may have not understood this. But what I want is you just see this calculation properly. Definitely that will give you more clarity. Now, I am going to explain you count to infinity issue. Count to infinity issue is a major challenge in distance vector algorithm. And these challenges are arising because of topology changes. For example, if you observe here, we are having four routers A, B, C, D. Those are connected by distance 1, 1, 1 over here. And here, let me show you distance to router D, comma next. What it means? See, A is communicating with D with magnitude 1 plus 1 plus 1 means 3. And that is happening via B, so comma B. This B is communicating with D with distance 1 plus 1, that is 2. And that is happening via C, so 2, comma C. The C is communicating with B, D with distance 1, right? And that is happening directly to D. And D to D, that is obviously 0. So, there is no point of discussing that. Now, what will happen as if this link is getting filled? As if this link is getting filled, 
then you see what will happen see this is what the data which we have now in next iteration in next iteration obviously this router will send frames to each other and in that frames what they do they will update this matrix in that frame they will update this matrix so what will happen you see this c knows now this link is failed so now c cannot communicate with distance one now in next iteration c will be receiving frames from b right c will be receiving frames from b so it will be saying okay i can communicate with d as per distance 2 so this c that will modify its distance with respect to b the reason is c is not knowing like b is communicating via c only there may be some other path right in computer network there may be some other path so c simply says okay you can communicate with distance 2 so 2 plus 1 3 and that will happen via b right and then you see b will be receiving frame from c and that frame is having this data only 1 comma d so it will be keeping this data as it is 2 comma c and obviously a will be receiving frames from b so that is as per 2 comma c only and as per 2 comma c 2 plus 1 that is 3 so 3 comma b that will stay as it is again there can be iteration so in next iteration what will happen you see in next iteration this c will be receiving frame from b so that is indicating 2 comma c 2 comma c means 2 plus 1 that will be 3 comma b only but you see b will receive frame from c that says distance is 3 comma b so distance is 3 so it will be considering okay distance is 3 with respect to c plus 1 so that will be 4 comma c and this a will be receiving this frame that is having distance 2 comma c so 2 plus 1 that will be 3 comma b again there can be next iteration so in next iteration what will happen this c will receive frame from b which is indicating this distance this distance is 4 so 4 plus 1 it will be saying okay phi comma b now this b will be receiving this frame that is 3 so 3 plus 1 that is 4 comma c this a will be receiving frame from b that is having distance how much 4 4 plus 1 that will be phi comma b see what is happening here this distances are increasing and these routers are not knowing this link is failed that's why these distances are increasing with respect to time with respect to iterations right so what will happen you see these numbers will increase continuously that is what count to infinity so here what will happen you see here what if here what if a wants to send data to d what if a wants to send data to d so when a wants to send data to d a will be having what phi comma b so a will be sending data to b as per this next a will be sending data to b now b will be doing what b will be doing sending to c right b will be doing sending to c now c will be doing what c will be sending to b now b will be doing what it will be sending to c right and this is what keeps on repeating this is what keeps on repeating right this will happen till infinity here there is a loop of infinity right there is a loop of infinity and that is what count to infinity right and this issue that we can resolve by split horizon let me explain you how split horizon is there in split horizon router will update failures see without split horizon router will not update failures with split horizon router will update failures see without split horizon there was issue of count to infinity in which router was not updating this failure this c2d communication that was happening via magnitude 1 so that 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 was as it is and because of that you see there was issue of count to infinity means here infinite calculation was happening but now what is happening you see in split horizon this router c is updating its status previously connection was with one magnitude but as it is getting break 
it is changing it to infinity now over here and as it is changing it to infinity what will happen in next iteration in next iteration this router a will receive frame from b it says distance is 2 with respect to route c right so it will update it as per 2 plus 1 3 comma b and this router b will receive frame from c it says distance is infinity so infinity plus 1 that will be infinity only so it will be saying okay with infinity there is no such next and this is infinity comma dash only right now in next iteration what will happen router a will receive frame from b it says infinity comma dash so infinity plus 1 so that is infinity this is also receiving frame from c that is infinity comma dash and this is all already infinity comma dash so because of router is updating failure of link now infinity loop that we are avoiding over here right and that is happening because of you see previously what was happening previously whenever we were been forwarding frame at the time we were not been defining what is the route like we were not been defining okay via c it is happening like when b is forwarding frame to c it says distance is 2 but it is happening via c then why c should say okay it is if it is happening via me then why should it why should i update that distance isn't it so that communication was not there but in split horizon in split horizon it will give information of distance along with route and that's why we can avoid infinite loop failures right still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video